So welcome again. We're solving now uh, exercise 14 in the assignment sheet of the stack uh, course. So they're asking us to add a very large number. So we know that when we have a very large number, uh, if it cannot hold e either in slow double or long double, so we need to overcome this problem. So they're uh, providing us with uh, a solution. So uh, so consider adding very large numbers and the magnitude is uh, limited so for example we cannot add these two numbers uh, so they are telling us that the problem can be solved if we treat these numbers as strings so we read it as strings and then we will we'll use two stacks to put these elements into these stacks we will perform addition by popping numbers from the stack so let's see uh, see this example so we have two numbers so it's so we are reducing in the numbers of elements but we're using two stacks so we have five nine two and three seven eight four and we want to add these big numbers so we'll consider these numbers we we'll read these numbers as strings and we will push uh, these elements into uh, these stacks so look uh, closely so this is the number five nine uh, two so uh, what we will do is that uh, we will be reading the string. So in the string we will have five, nine, two, uh, backslash zero. So the first element of index zero will push it in the stack. So it's easy. There's nothing difficult in these uh, in creating the first two stacks. Then what we will do is that we'll take the first top elements of each two stacks and then we will sum it so 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and then we will push it in the resulting stack so uh, and we will pop the two elements so if you look well we are uh, summing here the lowest digits so this is why it works then we have 9 plus 8 equals 17 so when we uh, sum 17 we save just 7s and then the one which is the tenth number we will carry it on with us on to the next summation so again here 5 plus 7 plus 1 it will be equal uh, to uh, 13 so and 13 we will save just 3 and we'll carry on with us the 1 1 plus 3 since here there is no more uh, elements equal to 4 so this is what we try to do so let's repeat it quickly we have two strings we need to uh, place the digits the character in a stack of integers so we need to convert characters into integers and then we will use two, these two stacks and to pop simultaneously with these two stacks two elements and do the sum and we will place the uh, the, the, the digit the digit of tens in the stack and we'll carry on any uh, uh, carry on so let's go okay so let's i have wrote so let's uh, just make sure that the element and the stack are integers and that i have wrote a small main function here we have three uh, arrays uh, of strings uh, we will read the first one we'll read the second one we will call the function sum which sums the first two uh, strings and the output will be a string so at the end we'll print these two both strings so so it's a void function sum it takes three strings so let's say str1 str2 and the output one which is str3 so what we will do here is that first these strings we will put these strings into stack so we we'll need stack s1 s2 for now, so S1 equal create the stack, S2 equal create the stack, and we need to loop over the string. So we need a counter. So we'll say for i equal to zero till str1 of i is different than backslash zero. So till the end of the string i plus plus, and I want to push into S1. So address of S1. I want to push the element str1 of i. However, str1 of i is a character and I want to transform it into a digit. So if I, for example, if I have character 1 and if I want the number from it, I need just to subs subscribe, subtract the uh, character 0. 
so the same can be said for the uh, loop for the str2 and I push into str2 str2 minus i so this is for now and then what should I do I should uh, pop and uh, pop the two stacks and then push um, the sum into the third stack so I need a third stack What we need also is uh, two elements, element E1 for the first stack and element E2 for the second stack. I need also a sum, uh, sum, I will call it result since the function is called sum and let's initialize it to zero. So, so I'll try to take two elements from the uh, to, to stack. However, as we have seen here, it, it may be a case where uh, one of the stack is empty and one uh, the other stack is not empty. And even though I can continue and do the sum, so here we'll not check on the top. We'll check just on if the if the stack is not empty or not. So if the stack is not empty, if one of them is not empty or the second stack is not empty I will try to do the summation however if both stacks are empty we will uh, end the while loop here so if there is a top here if there is a top in the first stack I will pop the element I will see if I can have another element in from the second stack and if it's the case I will pop it also and I will do the summation so this summation will do it in the result so result as we have seen also in the example here it's possible that we can carry some previous value so what we will do is that we will add to the previous sum to the previous result so at the beginning it's equal to 0 it's equal to e1 plus e2 however this sum could be greater than 10 or less than 10 so in all cases I'll try to push in S3 address of S3 the result modulo 10 so I will need just the just one digit and in all cases I will do a result over equal 10 so example suppose that in the result I have 14 so I will push just I will push the element 4 and I will carry one with me one into the next iteration when I will go back and do the while loop at the end I just need to be sure to uh, put zeros in E1 and E2 so that in the case where one of the stack is not is empty so I cannot uh, sum the older value of E1 or E2 so when I'm out what should I do I should check if there's something uh, in, in the result since it could be there's I have a carry on with me so if result is different than zero I will push the result the result I will push the result in this stack as three push address of s3 I will push the result so this is for just the last operation and if we have a carry on so we have the resulting stack here s3 so now what we have to do is to empty the stack s3 into the array of string so what we have to do is to loop so we will loop over s3 so as long as we have an s3 we will use e1 or e2 never mind and we will pop the element and we need to push it uh, pop address of s3 and we need to put it in the third string which is called str3 so in str3 I need a counter so I will be using i here so I will say i equal to 0 and let's say i plus plus is equal to e1 it's of type integer however string it contains a character so what I have to do is to add the character 0 and we should not forget at the end of the string to put the backslash zero as an indicator that the string ended so let's try it run 
we'll be using the same example as in the exercise so 592 for the first big number 3784 for the second one and we'll end up with 4376 4376 which is the correct solution so if you have any questions regarding this exercise do not hesitate to send it to me by email and i'll try to answer you back as soon as possible do not forget also to subscribe to my channel and to hit the funky bell icon to turn on notifications and thanks for watching